Hello, everybody, we're to the final part of Let's Play Kirby Streamland 2. Oh god, I entered the boss up accident. Uh, last time we beat, like, all the, all the stages and started in the boss rush. And in this episode, we are going to head into the final boss. So, get rid of our ability. Because I like to do these final boss ability lists. And float up to the top of the tower of Dark Castle to face off against Dedede, who is sleeping. Like, not anymore. He's awake. Ah, no, he fell asleep again. And he's half awake, I guess. Oh! His eyes are closed, though. He's drowsy. I guess. <coughs> hey. Come hit me with a hammer. Give me, give me a star. Thank you. Hit him. And... Yeah, he's very slow compared to Dreamland 1. Oh, and also, uh, Adventure. Like, he's much weaker. Oh, wow, he threw his hammer at me! I, that's what I get for insulting him, I guess. <coughs> hey, come after me. Oh, and now he's angry. When he's a angry phase, he, he runs a lot stronger, a lot faster, and has explosive attacks. Ow. As you can see, by his explosive attacks. I'm dying. Ow. And he's angry again. Oh! Boom! Eat the explosion. I don't know. Oh, he's really sucking in. Oh, what the heck is that? <coughs> Freaking just inhaled a cloud. Just spat up a freaking explosive device. Alright. So yeah, something's definitely up with King D today, as you can probably tell. Like, he is not his normal self currently. For one, his eyes are squinted and also closed. Uh, he's snoring in the middle of his boss fight, and... He's also on the top of Dark Castle. Oh yeah, this is also, also the it, the guide said that he, he was being controlled. And he missed, so he's angry! I'm mad, I'm flippin' furious! <coughs> I'm furious! How dare you, Kirby! Oh god! How, I'll kick that Kirby to the cat! Alright, he's calmed down again. He fell asleep. I'll kick that Kirby to the cat! My voice back. <clears throat> right. I'll kick that Kirby to the cat. Right. Hey Kirby! There we are. Oh, just avoid the explosion. Oh god! I keep getting mixed up with that suck attack. Suck. All right. Oh. The hot star. Should have shot up a star. Avoid him. Uh, okay. Okay, two more heads left. Best case scenario. But yeah, DDD really stepped up his game for this game. Went from a pretty easy boss to a pretty hard one. Woo! And DDD still after being defeated. Just crying a bit, but. Jeez, that's. And down he goes. <coughs> and. All the rainbow drops. Are forming together to form. Ding, ding. The Rainbow Sword. And out of DD emerges Dark Matter, a being that can possess anyone and make their heart as dark as a as a bottomless cavern. Chasm. Basic. Basically, he turn they possess anyone, turn them evil. Basically, in the anti antithesis to light. This is a star is dark matter swordsman. You can you can reflect his projectiles back at him, Ganon style, and do damage to him, or you can just straight up hit him with the sword. <coughs> but depending how you want to do this, swordsman or Ganon style. Ganon style does more damage, but sword strikes is cooler. Also, a pretty good theme, by the way, for the for the for the freaking game boy. Oh, you cannot hit dodge the you cannot uh hit him out of those, by the way. 
or reflect those back. Hit him with multiple and does multiple and does multiple hits of damage. Keep hitting him eventually and he starts moving while shooting him. Boom! Hit him with all of them. Switch to five of the screen. Try to slash me. Hit him. <coughs> Try to shoot me. Ow! Freaking screw you. Oh! Okay, he can really move up. Alright. I want to save some HP. This is the first one of the first curry bosses that has something. I'm not gonna say. Oh god! Yeah, Dark Runner Swordsman. Pretty difficult boss. And if you die, you start back at the beginning. Which I might a couple times. Sorry about that. I could have gotten on the loop. But hit him enough times, and he explodes and reforms into his true form, Dark Matter. A form that is basically pure darkness. He can take those balls on the back of his head and knock me out of the sky. Alright, retry. <coughs> also, like, the ability is the rainbow drops. This boss is only available if you got all the rainbow drops, by the way. Get them all. I, I, I just consumed it. Okay. Boom. Hit the black spheres on the back, or the dark matter spheres on the back, on his back, okay, I'm just gonna, on his back in order to, uh, well, do more, uh, in order to do a lot of damage to him in second form, but, yeah, basically a lot of his attacks is reflection. Also, he's a pretty cool design that only gets used twice in the series, like two three times if you count mass attack. <coughs> Okay, that's a safe spot. Good to know. Up here is safe. Oh, ow. Not from him, though. Not from his physical body. Just his energy balls. Okay. Just from his lasers. Alright. Charge attack. Frickin and down you go. Quick save, so I can save time! Hit them into him and do a ton of damage. As you can see, he has the, the ball attack and another attack which you might not be able to get to see. I think how fast he can hurt him. He can, he can charge, he can do a bunch of crap, he can shoot lasers everywhere! <coughs> You can also explode forward like a rocket. Ow, frick. It's kind of, by the way, this is the first returning antagonist. Uh, just letting you know this. Because this antagonist is a is a major one that will be back. Also, there's no time limit, I don't think. A little bit more. I know I'm using save states against this guy, but don't blame me. Hold me. Okay, this is other attack. He shoots bl uh, dark lightning out across the screen. <coughs> Excuse in point. I also really like the rainbow sword. It's one of the many artifacts in Kirby. Because, yes, artifacts are a thing. Uh, ancient artifacts like the rainbow sword, the star rod, and a the third one, which we'll see later, are all created by the same race of well, the same race of aliens. Called the Ancients. But we'll get more into them in Star Allies if we ever get there. Yeah, we will eventually, though, probably. And boom goes Dark Matter! Which he explodes after a final hit with the sword. As Kirby falls to the earth. With the rainbow sword. He'll be fine. He survived every entry. <coughs> yeah, that's Dreamland too. Oh my god. I just uh. And DDD looks up to the sky and sees Kirby! Kirby falling down! Hopefully, Koo can pick him up. And he's awake. 
The evil has been slain. For now. And... Yeah! He's okay! No sacrifices... No sacrifice himself to get the win. Here, Kirby always wins. But yeah. That was Dreamland 2, a very, very ambitious game for the game for the original Game Boy. Ah, uh, hi Kirby. Uh, this is a really good game. Uh, just in general, did have a bit of problems with collecting, but that's just because the game. But because this game is basically known for that, is having a really, really hard collectible thing. And I'm sorry for all the audio problems with my with me accidentally muting myself multiple times during the playthrough. I don't even know that happens. I, I, my hand doesn't mean the, the enter key or anything, it just mutes itself. <coughs> and Kirby makes a rainbow for the ending. The end. If you didn't get all the rain- if you just let me know this, if you didn't get all of the rainbow drops, Kirby performs a- a uh, basically poses from the king and walks home. Uh, with Kain- with, with Kain being the one to notice that, not, that something's not right. And it'll actually list every enemy from- in the game, from the beginning to DDD. But... At the end of it, it will see you will see dark matter with a big question mark underneath it. Pretty cool dark back bad ending. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, next time on Let's Play in general, I think I'll be doing another Let's Showcase probably the last show Let's Showcase for the Game Boy for Kirby. After that, it's all SNES. See you guys then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.